Hey guys, Captain Foley back with you again today. On today's episode of Can We Fix It? Probably not, but anyway. I've got my PlayStation 2, or sorry, my PlayStation 4 um, VR Move 1 controller. It's not charging, it's not working at all, and as a result, I decided to buy a new battery for it, which we are going to try to install in this today and get this working again because there's so many good VR games on PS4 that aren't ported over to the PS5 yet. So this is one I want to fix. So we're going to try to do that today and hopefully it all works out because wand controller. I I'm just saying. So we're going to give it a try. I did order this from Amazon. There were quite a few options available for replacement batteries for these and hopefully we can get it fixed and have a charge and actually work. So we're going to try to do that today and we'll see how that goes. So let's crack into this thing and take a look. All right, so here we have it on the bench. Uh, there's just a couple screws to remove and then this ball comes out. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a try. I've watched a video or two about it and we'll see how it goes. Now this one that I ordered actually came with a little screwdriver, which I don't think you're going to get much torque on because it's so small, but I've got another set of screwdrivers so didn't really need it but figured might as well get it just in case so let's crack into this thing and see how it goes so finally got all four screws out this took me forever because I don't know what Sony or PlayStation does but those were like hard to get out even with this one which again I don't have a lot of torque or grip on this couldn't get it out uh, I tried using the one they gave me without this couldn't get it out once I attached it to this and actually had some good grip and some torque got them out um, I, I even had to add a little drop of WD-40 to each screw hole just to, to get the goddamn things out so I even tried using this for torque I don't know if you know this but these screwdrivers with the little ridges a lot of times for certain things you just do that and push down and you can get enough torque with something like that but Anyway, um, so screws are out. Let's um, take this apart now. Bing. Okay, so the ball obviously comes off. There you go. And the motor is in to on top of the battery because, of course, it is. Why wouldn't it be? So that's this other half, that's what it looks like. But now we got to take well, this says it's a it's a different size. Well, I gotta check and see and make sure these are the right this is the right battery. Nineteen fifty Three point seven five volt, yeah. That's not so bad. I thought that was the motor. It's not. That is. So it's just right under there. It's uh I'm just gonna slip that out. Hold on a second. Okay, finally got it slipped out. Now the batteries are different sizes. Um LIS1441. This is an LIS1442. So this isn't even the, the right kind of battery. Which means I gotta order another one. So I'm just gonna leave this apart for now and we'll revisit this on another day. But yep, wrong battery. I mean, this one probably would work, but let's see, 3.7 volts, 3.7 volts. 490 milliamp. Yeah, this is 1,380 milliamp. So, yeah, this one probably wouldn't work. So, what a waste of my time and money. All right, so I'll order a new one of these, and I'll be right back to this. While I've got it apart, though, we might as well take a look at it. I put this ball back on. It is uh, just slips in a little collar there, and there's the screw holes for the screws. There you see how it hooks up to the board. There's a slot for the battery. 
and that's where the uh, battery actually plugs in is right down there so on the other half we got this so those connector pins connect to that so the problem is I uh, needed a different battery I'm gonna have to return this one because this is the LIS uh, 1442 I needed the 1441 everything was the same except for the um, the milliamperage so this one could have probably worked but I don't know if I would have trusted it necessarily so I gotta send this one back and then um, the other one I ordered is going to take a few days to come in so I'll finish this video once that comes in and we can go from there but this is how it's sitting right now we'll see if replacing the battery actually fixed it and maybe I had a successful repair on something but it's really simple four screws just pop that off and then that'll go back on once the battery is plugged in and I had watched a video where they took this casing off right there that screw to plug to unplug the battery but I managed to get it unplugged with just a small flathead screwdriver I just shimmied it out of there and it should be fairly simple to plug the other one back in so unlike my tricorder repair this one might actually work but there you see the inside of a PS3 4 <laughs> uh, VR wand controller and yeah I'm gonna have to send this back unfortunately but this this did help in uh, getting some torque for this little screwdriver otherwise I don't know what Sony does with their screws to keep them in there but my god it was hellish to get those out so all right three days later all right so here's the old battery oh sorry that's not the old battery this is the one that's incorrect Here's the new one, just came in. I already checked, it is the right battery. So yeah, it is the uh, LIS1441. And that uh, just gets plugged in. I think this might be why they, uh, that one guy actually removed all this housing for the battery. Okay. There we go. We got it. Plug that in, seat it nice and tight. battery in there tuck those wires in like so and then this goes on In there and then how's this go like that? Like so.
He's going to see what's going on there. Okay, got it to fit. I just got to put the screws in. Just to, I had to get the top in first instead of the bottom. But anyway, so we're going to now put the screws back in. And then we got to go charge it, I would assume. So, again, the battery doesn't say if it's charged or not. I would assume not. I'm not going to screw these in as tight as they had them, because my god. <clears throat> I felt like they were super glued in, they were so tight. I don't think they need to be that tight. Alright. This is a pretty rudimentary thing to do to change a battery for a video, but I wanted to just document it. There, let's see if it is charged. Got a flashing light, so it's good. It's looking for the PlayStation, which is upstairs. It's more than we had last time. Oh, there we go, it's on. So I'm wondering, I gotta go check the PlayStation upstairs now and see if that is on. So there you go, one controller hopefully fixed. We're just gonna go charge it now and see. So it did in fact turn the PlayStation 4 on, as you can see. And it's asking who's using this controller. And the battery was only two bars full. So, what I'm going to do now is put it in the cradle and make sure that it charges. Actually, let's see if it works. Yes, it does. Just gotta do an update, but looks like it's working, which is better than it was. So, yeah, we're gonna charge it fully and see if that is actually good, and then we will give you an update. Okay, so I'm just going to now that it's off, put it in the cradle. And yes, it's charging. All right, we're gonna come back and check on this a little bit later and make sure that it is in fact working. There we go. All right, check back in a minute. That's a good thing. Much, much, much later. All right, looks like it's fully charged now. So let's grab that and uh, see if it works here. good thing. Let's change the input on the TV. I don't know if you saw that. It's fully charged and working. So, mission accomplished. Which is awesome. Sensitive. Turn off. Perfect. 
All right, guys, there you have it. It is fixed. All it was was a battery, thank goodness. Uh, fully charged, showing up is fully charged, turning on a PlayStation, doing the things that it wasn't doing before, which is a good thing. Uh, I just wish I hadn't been sent the wrong battery, but I did order the correct one. They just sent me the wrong one. So, anyway, I know this is not a repair channel. This is not in any way educational. Um, do what I do at your own risk. But, um, yeah, this is fixed. And I will be playing some Bridge Crew to fully test it very soon on the channel. So if you like Bridge Crew in VR, check it out. Power of the Wand compels you to hit like, to subscribe to both channels. The Captain Foley personal channel and the Trek Yards channel. Also check out another video from me right here where I try to fix something that doesn't really work. Bye guys.